Hey guys, it's Alex, and today I'm here with my friend Raven, and we're going to be doing a video on dysphoria. Um, we wrote down a few questions, and we're going to answer them ourselves. Right here. Right, right now. now. That was kind of cool. Alright, what's the first question, Raven? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I'll read the first question. Okay. Alright, how would you describe dysphoria? How would you describe this for you? This is terrible lighting. Okay, you go first. Does the lighting really matter? No one's gonna watch All this. Alright. Just go. Alright, um, I would describe dysphoria as, like, kind of just, like, kind of just, like, a trap you can't get out of. Oh, are we doing this metaphorically? Oh, we don't have to do it metaphorically. That's what you're doing. Yeah, well, then why don't you do it unmetaphorically? Okay, uh, dysphoria is like... Oh, so you're gonna do it simile-like. You said like, so... As, too. <laughs> dysphoria is... Uh, when you don't feel... Your identity matches up with... The life you were born into, I guess, or like the... The way you're perceived, or the way you, I guess, yeah, like, the way you're assigned labels, yeah. Yeah, with me it's a lot, like, about the perceiving thing. Yeah, definitely. Alright, what's the... Uh, what's the worst type of dysphoria for you, social, physical, or mental? Well, for me, like... A lot of it is social for me. Like, I want people to, like, see me. Like, when I'm walking the street, I want people to just, like, perceive me as male and see me as male. And I want all my friends to, like, call me male. I want to, like, fit in with society as a male, socially. But, like, the physical stuff bothers me a hell of a ton, too. Like, I want to get top surgery as soon as possible because that's a huge problem with me. And, like, mentally, I mean, I know for me... I've kind of figured out, like, where I want to be, like, who I am myself, so the mental thing doesn't bother me as much. I just want to make sure that my mental mind matches the physical self. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, I think for me, I think it's social probably because, like, I'm non-binary, and I don't, like, I'm agender, so I don't, I mean, people who are non-binary can, like, drastically change the way they look but like personally I don't do that so it's like really hard because everyone thinks I'm a girl because like I'm pretty feminine like just naturally even if I have you know this short hair and I don't dress as like a traditional girl would dress I forgot what I'm talking about social dysphoria oh and so it's just like because like nobody even questions it like with someone like Alex per se, somebody kind of might think about it like because he definitely looks more masculine than like how he used to dress and he looks, he passes, like he definitely passes but like someone, someone like me, like you have no like second thoughts about it so that just really sucks and like I find even like with people who know that I'm agender like, they still treat me like I'm a girl. Like,